Welcome to this 22-minute yoga practice geared towards all levels and designed to help you focus inward and relieve some of the stress that we all too often hold in the shoulders and the chest. So find a tall seat, sit comfortably. Allow a soft smile to come across the face, relax all the muscles in your face and pay attention to your breath. As you start to notice how you're feeling in this seat, breathe it all in. Breathe into the day you've just had and what you're bringing to the practice. Interlace your fingers in front of you and lightly tap your chest side to side. The lymph glands live in the upper chest closer to the armpits and when you tap and massage like this, you release toxins that are held in the lymph glands and harm the immune system. Bring one hand to your upper chest and your other palm on top of that. Connect to the sensations in the heart, the chest. Continue to breathe it in. Breathing in acceptance for this moment, for your heart. Stay focused with every breath throughout this practice. Give yourself that gift. And as you open your eyes, bring your palms down onto your mat and come onto your hands and your knees. Your hands shoulder width apart, your knees hip width apart for cat cows. Spread your fingers apart on the mat. Inhale, lift your chest, lift your chin. Exhale, round into cat pose. On your next inhale, make a little back bend and look up softly. Exhale to round your back, tuck your tailbone in. Again, inhale, arc your spine and round, press your palms firmly into your mat. Come to a flat back and lower your elbows down to the mat, palms in prayer, elbows shoulder distance apart. Crawl your knees back a couple of inches, knees still hip width, and as you bring your forehead down towards the mat, bring your palms up in prayer towards the ceiling. Dig your elbows down and tilt your sitting bones up. Breathe, open any knots around your chest and the sides of your waist. Feel your upper chest sink down, down to the ground. Rise your head out of that. Place your left palm on the mat and your right palm on the mat. Curl your 10 toes under. And from hands and knees, lift up into down dog. Lift your knees and your hips up through the hands and fingers and slowly pedal out your heels one at a time as you bend one knee deeply and then the other knee deeply. Tune into the sensations now around your calves and down to your Achilles. From down dog, lift your right leg up. Step your right foot all the way between your hands. Lower your back knee down. Low lunge. Lift both arms high up in the sky. Feel steady through the legs, root the inner edge of your front foot. Deep breathing as you cactus your arms. Your elbows will bend to 90 degrees, palms face forward. Hug your low abdomen in and gently lean your forearms back in space. Breathe for your pectorals. Again, giving your upper chest a lot of awareness. Hands come down to the floor. Roll to the outer edge of your front foot. So just come to that pinky toe edge of your right foot and let your right knee fall halfway down towards the ground. With your hands flat, take an inhale. And on your exhale, you can bend your elbows halfway. So just the chest dips down. Inhale, straighten your arms. Let's do that again. Bend your elbows. One more. Rise up. As you exhale, bend your elbows. Straighten your arms. 
Straighten your back leg. Pick your back knee up off the mat. Step back into down dog pose. Next inhale, reach your left leg up. Step your left foot between your hands. Back knee comes down. With steady legs, rise up into low lunge, arms straight up. Be aware of how this side feels. Connect to every single breath. Deep breaths. Now cactus your arms. Bend your elbows wide. Spread your fingers wide. With your navel drawing in, gently lean your forearms back in space. Again, opening through the upper chest and the shoulders. Breathe into how this space feels. Enjoy your breath. Release your hands down to your mat and come to the outer edge of your front foot. Keep your toes strongly flexed up to your shin. Your front knee falls out to the left with flat hands Take an inhale. As you exhale, bend your elbows. Chest sinks down. Inhale, straighten your arms again. Exhale, bend your elbows, lower down. One more time, lift up. Exhale, bend your elbows. Rise back up. Straighten your back leg. Step back, downward facing dog. In dog, tilt your sit bones up to the sky. Send your chest back in space towards your thighs. Ripple forward into high plank, shoulders over wrists, strong legs. Extend the breastbone forward and come all the way down to your stomach. Point your toes back and tent your fingers off your mat left to right so your elbows are bent up towards the ceiling for finger stand cobra. Lift your chest, exhale lower down. Again, lift your chest, legs toned. Slowly lower. Place your hands on your mat under your shoulders. Tuck your toes, come to hands and knees. Come up into down dog. Relax your neck in down dog. Aware of every breath. Take little steps forward to the front of your mat. Fold at the front of your mat, feet hip width apart. As you spider your fingers on the mat, bow down. Hang your head. Lift halfway up, chest forward. As you exhale, bow into your legs. Little bend in your knees, roll up vertebrae by vertebrae. Chin is in as you slowly roll up into mountain pose. Tadasana. Inhale, lift your arms straight up in the sky. Interlace your fingers overhead, but keep your index fingers pointing up. With biceps aligned beside ears. Standing half moon. Ground the feet, reach up and over to the right. Breathe into all that you feel in the left side. Keep your chin off your chest. Rise back up, reaffirm the feet. Come all the way to the other side now. Tipping over to the left. Pull your arms straight and strong, deep breath into the right side of your ribs. Rise back up, reach up as you inhale. Come all the way down into a fold as you exhale. Lift up halfway, slight bend in your knees. Fold. Place your palms on the mat. Step your right foot back and your left foot back into down dog pose. Be aware of your foundation, the hands rooted. Reach your right leg back and up behind you. Step your right foot between your hands, back knee lowers down for low lunge. Rise up, lift your arms straight up. Cactus your arms. Again, bend your elbows wide. And now this time we'll take it into a slightly deeper back bend. Squeeze your inner thighs towards the midline and go up and back into the back bend. Aware of maintaining deep breath. And start to send just your left arm straight up and reach your right hand back for your left hamstrings. 
from the lift of your left arm up, go up and back. Again, feel spaciousness in the chest. Reach your right arm back up beside your left arm. Lower your hands down inside your front foot for lizard pose. Adjust your front foot one inch out to the right. Hands flat, back leg straight. As you hug your front knee close into your right shoulder, now begin to bend your arms. Sink the chest a little lower with strength in your back leg and strength in every breath that you take. Breathe it all in, all that you feel in your hips. Step back into down dog. Inhale, lift your left leg high up. Step your left foot between your hands. Lower your back knee. Lunge pose, arms up in the sky. With grounded legs, cactus your arms. Bend your elbows, spread your fingers. From the depth of your hips, reach your spine up and arc gently back. Take just your right arm up and reach your left hand back for your right hamstrings. Keep your left hip squared back, right hip forward. With your navel in, reach up and back. Now make your left arm go up with your right arm. Lower your hands down inside your front foot. Wiggle your front foot over to the left an inch. Hands flat on the mat. Back legs straight and charged. Bend your arms, just come about halfway down. Rise up and step back into down dog pose. High plank, glide forward, shoulders over your wrists. In one strong line, bend your arms, lower all the way down to your stomach. Point your toes and tent your fingers off your mat. Finger stand cobra, lift as you inhale. This time you'll look towards the left and drop your right shoulder halfway down. Inhale brings you back up. Other side, drop your left shoulder halfway down, look to the right. Two more, rise up. Exhale, right shoulder comes halfway down, look left. Inhale, lift up in the center. One more, left shoulder down, gaze over to the right. Rise up. Bring your chest all the way down to the earth. Bring your forehead down. Place your hands on your mat under your shoulders. Push up to hands and knees, tabletop. Tuck your toes, downward dog. From your down dog, you can step your feet forward to the front of your mat, standing forward fold. Align your feet hip width apart. It gives your low back more space and lift up halfway. Fold down, soft jaw. Roll up, bone by bone. Navel hugs in as you roll up. To standing. Mountain pose. Walk your feet together in mountain pose. Set up for chair. Now bend your knees and reach your arms up. Relax the jaw. Feel the lift of your spine. Front ribs in as you reach straight up. On your next exhale, fold forward, interlace your hands behind your low back so your palms are really squeezing together. Little bend in the elbows, hug your shoulders onto your back and breathe your chest open. We're making lots of space in the lungs, the heart, the chest today. Hands down, lift up halfway. Exhale, fold. Hands on your mat, flat, step your left foot back. Right foot back, downward dog. Next inhale, reach your right leg back and up, three-legged dog. Step your right foot through and between your hands for warrior two. Spin your back heel down flat and rise up, arms in a T-shape. Now in warrior two, make sure your front foot points forward and your front knee is bent deeply over your front ankle. Spine is upright and your shoulders back. Steady gaze, power in the legs and power in every breath. Exalted warrior, as your right arm goes up, slide your left fingers gently down your left leg. Bend your top arm. 
so that your right hand comes to the back of your neck. Keep the depth of the front knee as you go up and back with your top elbow. Now, if possible, we'll add in a half bind with the left arm. So left arm behind your back. Grip your left hand into your front thigh. Keep going up and back. Feel all that you feel. Breathe it in. Hands on hips. Now straighten your front leg and pivot your right toes in. Set up for a wide-legged fold. As you inhale, lift your chest. Elbows draw together behind you. Exhale, bow all the way down and bring your hands onto your outer ankles. Or perhaps your hands would be a little higher up on your outer calves. Micro bend your knees so no joints are locked or hyperextended and pull gently on your outer legs to fold your upper body down. Enjoy the sensation of getting the head below the heart. Your hands will now walk up to your right foot at the front of your mat, step back into down dog. Inhale, make your left leg go back and up. Left foot between your hands, warrior two. Ground the feet, cartwheel your arms all the way open into that big T shape. Assess that your feet are rooted, bend the left knee deeply. Land here. Exalted warrior, stretch your left arm up, right fingers lightly down your right leg. Bend your top arm, left hand to the back of the neck. Make your front knee roll open to the left, and if possible, half bind your right arm now behind your low back and try to squeeze into your front thigh with your right hand. Keep both shoulders rolling back and down away from your ears as you breathe for your left side. From this exalted warrior, open into warrior two, hands on your hips, straighten your front leg, turn your left toes in, feet are parallel. Heel toe your feet in a couple times with your toes pointing out 30 degrees. Goddess squat, bend your knees and bring your hands on your thighs. Check to make sure your knees are over your ankles. If you wanna go a little lower, bring your elbows down to your inner thighs. Sink your hips super low. Roll your knees apart, left to right. Breathe for your hips. Bring your hands on the earth. Walk your hands up to your left foot at the front of your mat, plant your hands and step your left foot back, downward dog. Deep breath. Glide forward to high plank. Shoulders over wrists, grippy fingers. Come all the way down to your stomach and point your toes. Sphinx pose. Prop up onto your forearms. Make sure that your elbows are lined up just below your shoulders and your hands are as wide as your elbows and your shoulders. Magnetize your hands towards you and pull your chest forward through your shoulders. To go a little bit further, with heavy hands, lift your elbows and walk your hands a bit closer to you and a bit wider. Keep a bend in your arms. Actively draw your outer shoulders back. Breathe for your chest. Slowly pour your chest down, forehead down. Relax and feel. And roll over onto your back. Let's come all the way onto your back. Legs straight on the ground, legs together. Hug your right knee into your chest and interlace your hands around your right shin. Wake up your feet, flex your toes. With each exhalation, bury your belly down towards the ground and hug your knee in perhaps closer. Is every breath bringing you closer to acceptance, bringing you closer to your inner self? You can straighten your top leg now and interlace your hands behind your right hamstrings. Pull your leg in, but really press your leg into your hands. Feel some resistance. Keep focusing within with every breath. And now bend your left leg and place your left foot flat on the floor so that you can cross your right ankle over your left thigh for thread the needle. Thread your right hand through the window of your legs. Interlace your hands behind your left hamstrings. Keep your feet flexed. 
Feel what's happening in the hips. Breathe it in. Soft jaw. Gently release legs straight on the ground. Hug your left knee in and interlace your hands around your left shin. As you exhale and draw your left knee in closer, be sure to extend the right leg strong and straight down. Toes spreading apart. Stretch your left leg straight up and interlace your hands behind your left hamstrings. Feel the breath. Be aware of the hamstrings and all your breath. Bend your right knee so your right foot is flat down on the earth and cross your left ankle on top of your right thigh. Pick your feet up and interlace your hands behind your right hamstrings. Thread the needle. Press your shoulder blades down into the earth. Broaden your chest and take deep, full breaths. Breaths keep us present in the moment. Deep, conscious breaths keep us present. Finally, we will hug both knees tight into the chest. You can wrap your hands or your forearms around your shins and gently rock left to right on your low back. Decompress the low back. And you bring your feet back down onto your mat. Have the soles of your feet together and your bent knees wide open to the sides. One hand on upper chest, one hand on stomach. Let go. Let go and tap in to what you're feeling and what you have released. It's a continual practice to go within and release stress, anxiety, emotions. As you bring your palms into prayer, thumbs touch between the eyebrows, the third eye. Give thanks for your breath. Give thanks for the opportunity to let go. Bring freedom into your shoulders and your chest. Namaste.